My name is Ernest Thomas, president of Onyx Fine Arts. And uh, the pieces that I have in the exhibit that I'd like to talk about are, are two. One is uh, a piece entitled uh, Turbulent Times. And the piece was done expressly to raise uh, awareness of what's going on in our world and what's going on in our country today. Turbulent times, of course, in this particular piece, from a technical standpoint, to produce the turbulence, I used uh, gesso and a palette knife. And the other part of it that's, that's really important is the structural element that goes through the entire piece, where the, the sculpture and copper, where the people are in essence, compressed, they're scratched, they're beat, there's tears coming down, but yet running through the entire piece is the, the color and lifeblood of the people that's resilient, that you can never stamp out. That's one. And the second piece is called I Dream. It's a, a two canvas a piece of art with a sculptural element going through in copper with nice little dream thought patterns going through the sky and through the water. Uh, okay, the second question is, what truth, no, are there any insights you gain from the exhibit or specific experiences that make it memorable for you? And the answer to that is absolutely yes. I mean, this is a, a milestone that's been, uh, we've been reaching for, for many years now. If you consider that this is our 12th year doing this exhibit, uh, back in the day, there was uh, a young man who ran the Seattle Urban League by the name of uh, uh, Jerome Page. And of course, I was a young guy in Seattle, didn't know much about art, but I would attend his events. And these events had artists in there like Jacob Lawrence, James Washington Jr., and then all the up-and-coming guys like Al Doggett, who's now an older guy, <laughs> Eddie Walker Jr., who's now an older guy. And, um, and, and, and it was just profound to see all this beautiful art and the emerging guys. And then the people just gathered around this particular exhibit and they would sell art like crazy, red dots everywhere. It's almost like they would sell out. Well, Jerome left the area and left the boy. You, you think that the African American Museum would have picked that boy up, but their philosophy and their, their mission was different. They were trying to focus on, uh, on, on the history of the migration of people coming to the Seattle area. But anyway, the void was left. And all of a sudden, uh, we decided to, to uh, uh, bring that back, bring that excitement back. And it's taken us 12 years to get there. So this particular exhibit has now surpassed that experience. And so that's kind of what this, uh, what I've, I've gained and the experience and that's going to be ingrained in my, my head for, forever. And it's beautiful to see the response to the art and the venue by all the visitors. I mean, you know, if you consider that a typical Onyx exhibit in the last 12 years has maybe had 300 people, this one has experienced easily 1,000, 1,300, 1,500 people coming through it. And, and, and that's profound. And what's beautifully more about that is that a lot of these people have come back for two and three times, and they are telling their friends. It's kind of like um, the, the, the word is continuing and is growing. Have you seen? Just tonight with the visitors, they're saying, oh, you guys, this is going to end? <laughs> They've seen it for the first time, and they want to go back, back and tell their friends. Well, so that tells us we need to continue this, you know, the, the momentum, the, uh, the need is, is, is just, you know, moving on. And we continue to meet new artists. A few minutes ago, I met a young man. He 
He says his sister is an artist living in Federal Way, and she's a little bit shy about, about uh, showing her artwork, but those are the people we want to see because we know, we know they're doing profound things. And um, Jay, what else? Will so that's, that's the, the, what will, will ever live in, in my memory and, uh, about this exhibit, you know, and more than that, about the association with, um, with wonderful board members like Lola Peters and Ashby Reed, and uh, for those who have not been as, as intimately involved as we have, to see them come back now with new pride um, hopefully, um, and, and on new energy to keep this thing moving uh, and moving in a positive direction.